Hey you guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm gonna give it a few seconds just because I'm trying something new here. I pray you guys are having a great Wednesday. Listen, listen, listen. We are about to enter into a new month. All right, you guys. And today, today's power call, I want to talk to you guys and say, do not quit, okay? Do not give up. Do not give in, okay? You don't know how close you are. You don't know that you're right at the edge. And then the very fact that you're feeling stress, the very fact that you're feeling the tension is proof that you're being stretched back and you're about to be launched forward, okay? I need you to sober yourself, okay? I need you to strengthen yourself and understand that there is more to this journey, okay? Do not quit, do not give up, do not give in, all right, you guys? Don't allow the stresses of this world and of this day-to-day -day life get you down and get you bound from fully fulfilling your dreams, okay? I wanna talk to you guys today. Do not quit, okay? Like I said, you guys, don't give up, okay? Don't give up, don't give in. I understand, okay? I completely wholeheartedly understand that times are hard. I understand that we all are fighting for our rent. We all are fighting for our money. We all are fighting to live, to breathe, to survive. But I want you to hear me out and I want you to understand fully what I am telling you right now, okay? For those of you who want to start a new business, for those of you who are afraid to start that new venture for those of you who are afraid to take that leap this is your clarion call this is your confirmation this is your red flag your green light go okay go after it all right if you do your research if you do your history if you do your due diligence as the entrepreneur as the person that you are trying to be in your sphere you will realize that there is more for you than there is against you all right i'll speak just for myself and just as an example in in my sphere okay entrepreneurship it, it can be very fearful at times you can be very uh, intimidated at times because is there money for me? Am I gonna find my niche? Am I gonna be able to do what I need to do? Am I gonna be able to properly perform for the people? Am I gonna be able to do what, you know, what I envision myself being? But then we don't realize, am I, am I gonna have the money? <laughs> you know, all those stuff, the capital. Because those are the stuff that that's the stuff that people don't tell you about when it comes to entrepreneurship. Everyone wants to come on in, uh, Instagram and flaunt and, and come on Facebook and flaunt and say, oh, I did this. Look at me. I'm doing that. But the overhead costs, the employees, it's the it's the invoices. It's the paying of the invoices that separates the men from the bosses. I think that's what Jay-Z said, right? It's a separation because when it's time to pay up, this is what you do after you receive that money that makes you the entrepreneur. But speaking of money, our government, they're filing bankruptcy and they're asking for $7 trillion. $7 trillion. $7 trillion. Hundred, I don't know. I even freaking say it because I've never even experienced $7 trillion in my life. But $7 trillion, the government's different, very California, Illinois, they're receiving this money. And you're stressing about making fifteen hundred. You're stressing about making two thousand. You're stressing about if your business is gonna go. Listen, there is money out there. There is money for you. What is your thoughts on money? My one of my mentors always talks to me about this. What is your reserves on money? Do you feel like you're worth it? Do you feel like you can get it? Do you feel like it's for you? Do you feel like this? is mine, I can make money, I'm worthy of making money, I'm worthy of my money making money for me. What do you feel about money? Do you feel that only grimy, nasty people get money? Or do you believe that you can truly receive it? A lot of us have a lot of just various reserves and various feelings on money, and that is why it won't come to you. I'm learning and I've learned just from 
being around different mentors and different people and just listening, I've learned that money is just like wisdom, okay? Wisdom will come to you, and if you don't handle it right, you won't see it again, all right? It comes to you. It talks to you. It shows you the right thing to do. It helps you. You have that investment. You have that moment to take a vacation because I don't see going on vacations and spending your money. I don't see that as a bad thing, okay? Because that's mental That's mental health right there. If you're able to afford to go on vacation, go. Do that, boo-boo. If you don't got to take the COVID test and you just got to, or whatever, do that. That is investing into your mental health. When you're investing into money, that's investing into your financial health. So I'm promoting either one. Whatever you do, all I'm saying is invest into yourself. Invest into your personal development, your personal growth, okay? I was not able to do any of the things that I do now until I first invested into my personal development, my personal growth, who I am, what do I stand for, what is my integrity, who do I want to be. Then I was able to properly allocate and do things with my money, budget, and, and, and follow a system. But let me get back on track, okay? We have money out there, okay? If you want to be a chef, there's money for you. If you are a minority female, do you know the various grants that are out there for you? If you're even a minority, do you know that we had the first, first access to the PPP loans, pay tech, paycheck protection loans? This was back beginning of March. We had the access. We had the first access, you guys. Open your eyes. There is more for you than there is against you, okay? There is more money out there. Learn how to solve problems. When you understand how to solve problems, you will be able to dominate whatever sphere, whatever place you are, okay? Learn how to solve the problems of your day and of your age, okay? We are in the middle of a pandemic, still. People are, were fighting over sanitizer and, and toilet paper and things. Why not invest into a cleaning business? What is your reserves and what is your feelings on money? What is your feelings on yourself? Even if I fail, I now have the knowledge that I have. I now have the clients that I didn't have. So that if this fails, I have something else that I go to. And hey, just in case you guys didn't know, I do this as well. What is your mindset and what is your thoughts on you? What is your thoughts on your money? What is your thoughts on your life and your plan and your your next five to ten years? How do you feel about that? Yes, there is debt. We are all in debt, okay? Yes, there is troubles. We all have troubles. Yes, there is problems. We all have problems. But what are you going to do to solve those? What are you going to do to pull yourself out of that? We can sit around and we can wait for these $600 checks a month. Or you can change your thinking, change your mindset, and figure out how I can invest, how I can grow, how I, how I can help someone. Sorry, I'm going to mess myself up. How I can help someone else because that's how you can pull yourself out of this depression. That funky feeling that you're in, maybe you aren't helping enough people. Maybe you aren't doing what you see yourself doing in your mind. And you have to, sometimes the, the greatest enemy is the inner me. And when we, when we, when we allow the enemy, the inner me sometimes, to speak louder than what the present is showing us, we miss out on opportunities. Sometimes we're the last one to see how awesome we are. Sometimes we're the last one to see how great that idea was. Sometimes we're the last one to see how truly substantial your life is. I encourage you today. I admonish you today to try again, believe again, have the hope, have the audacity to fail, have the audacity to know that, that it, it's not up to anything else. If it's meant to be, it's up to me. And even if the business fails, I have not failed. And I have more in me than just that. 
Stop basing your life and basing yourself off of things and know who you truly are and produce from that. All right, you guys. I pray y'all have a great week. I pray y'all take care. Have a good one, all right? I love you all in this group. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Watch this video.